Hello, my name is William Joe, aka Coding Panda, and I am part of the 5th San Ramon Hackathon with the theme Better Health, Better Life. My app is called Artline, Therapy Art Generator. Here's my presentation slides. We will go over the background of the problem and the solution to the problem, the constraints, materials, methods, screen design, and code, the conclusion, and the future plans to extend this app's capabilities. First, the introduction. Art therapy is an effective way to treat people who have ADHD and other neurodivergent conditions in mental health. During the art therapy, it is important for the patient to express their emotion and immerse in the artistic activity. However, current art therapy requires the craftsmanship to achieve the artistic effect that the patient wants. By using the Artline app, anyone can create their own unique art by scanning their face or describing their emotion as a prompt. The app will scan the user's face recognize the emotion of the user, generate a computer image that matches the user's emotion, and take the user's text input to fine-tune the results. Then the research. MIT app inventor AI, which includes personal image classifier, which uses CNN, VQGAN, vector quantized generative art adversarial network, is an algorithm which can generate images using a string of words or improve an inputted image. And the web viewer component all fill the app. To test the app, I used my Samsung Galaxy S21 phone. Some constraints in my app are that because of the reliance on PIC, the app will need huge data inputs and emotion recognition, meaning that the user will need to dramatize their facial expression so the PIC can easily recognize it. And VQGAN and MIT App Inventor still need more smooth interlinking to work in, within the app. Some methods are that the PIC will be used in the facial recognition process to determine the user's emotions. In addition, an option will appear for the user to input what they are feeling through the text box. The image generated from VQGAN will be presented to the user depending on their detected emotion. Here's the screen design. This is the start screen where the user will input their uh, facial expression or and this is the main screen where the user has an option to input their emotion through text box. Here is the code implementation for references and results. For the conclusion, the Artline app can recognize people's emotions as positive or negative. It can generate art, which was the expectation, it allows the user to add text inputs to help enhance the emotion recognition process, and it can help therapists understand their patient and formulate a mental health treatment. For future plans, my goal is to add more images to the PIC for training and add more emotion labels such as sad, angry, bored, etc. And make VQGAN work more smoothly with the app so users can fine-tune the art that they want. Starts. The user is presented with the start screen. On the lower portion of the app, there is a button that says, tell me my emotion. If the user expresses their emotion clear enough, say if they frown, then the results will be come up accurately. If it does not come up accurately, then the user has an option to input their correct emotion through the text box. Then they press the this is false button. This leads to the presentation of a more pleasant image. 
in the upper left corner, there is an arrow button. When the user presses on that, they are back to where they started. And this is the demo video.